What is up? What's going on? What's good? This your boy Dwayne bringing y'all another video. And with that being said, go ahead and hit that intro real quick, ain't I? So Black Magic updated the 6K, 6K Pro, and the 4K. Actually, the 4K and the 6K to have Gen 5 color science. What that means is you get that extra oomph in post-production when you're doing that color grade. And when I tell you, like, it's so much smoother than what it was with the Gen 4, that it's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? The 6K Pro, I already got it. It's just, like, so much better, if you know what I mean. But, I mean, I guess that's just me, personally. I don't know how you feel about the Gen 5 color science. I've seen, like, one or two people saying that it's just, like, I don't know for them. But for me, personally, I like it a lot especially because I, I do a lot of practicing to get used to color grading the color tab in DaVinci Resolve. If you didn't know, I switched to DaVinci Resolve for 30 days and I'm still trying it out and I'm still learning, I'm still practicing and I'm shooting a lot of footage. But anyway, they also added a RGB histogram on the main display. So you can see all the colors like red, blue, green. So when everything is blown out, you can literally see what's clipping or what color is clipping, like red, blue, or green, if you know what I mean, or your highlights, which I never used a histogram on here before, but now that that is there and it looks the way that it does, I will definitely be using it more. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go test it out right after this video. Another thing that's been added to this camera is 4K DCI, but it has a crop. I mean, it ain't bad, but it still has a crop. <laughs> So, I mean, that's good. Like, it was always ProRes. I don't know how to shoot Pro, I mean, I know how to shoot ProRes, but I don't know how to edit ProRes. So that's my thing. So now that it has the 12-bit B-Raw option, I'm good. Like, I don't care because it, it shoots ProRes. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I, I, I've never shot ProRes. I've never even tried to edit ProRes on this camera. And I don't think I will. So, hey, to each they own, right? And, um, oh yeah, they updated the color chart for, not the color chart, they updated uh, false colors to have like this little chart on the side of it. So if you use false colors, you can see that as well. But I use this external monitor. It's the Field World F5 Pro. So I guess, like I said, to each they own. They added a feature on here where you can change the brightness on the 4K, 6K, and 6K Pro. I don't know if that was on there prior to this 7.3 update, but now that it's on there, I leave my screen at 20% brightness. I do have this Power Edge MPF battery on it. And I mean, hey, I put, like I said, I put my screen on 20% and I use this Field World F5 Pro monitor most of the time. so. I mean, that's fine with me that that's like that. I mean, I, I don't really, I mean, I care, but then at the same time I don't because it uses less battery. So there's that. And uh, yeah, I think that's all for me personally that I think has been upgraded on the 6K. Cause like I said, that's the one that I own. Now, one thing I will say is I might get the 6K Pro just because of the better battery life and the internal NDs. It's very shaky, <laughs> I know. But I don't know, we'll see. It just depends on, I mean, I've only been using this camera for almost like a month and a half. It'll be two months in a couple of weeks. So like I said, we'll see. I'll try, and try my best to get my hands on the 6K Pro and uh, do some testing if I can get my hands on one. So yeah, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. And don't forget to leave a like because that really helps me out. Make sure you leave a comment. That really helps me out as well. I see 95% of y'all ain't subscribed, bro. Subscribe, it's free, it don't cost you nothing. It'll help you out in the long run. I might teach you something. It'll help me out in the long run because I might learn something from you as well by you subscribing and leaving a comment down below, if you know what I mean. So please do that and I appreciate you. I really, I really appreciate it. And thank y'all for subscribing, like for real. Thank y'all for coming to check your boy out. 
I know I don't post as much as other people, but I really do appreciate it for all the people that do come here and watch and subscribe and stay. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I appreciate y'all, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.